The use of instrumentation for the stabilization of spinal fusions is a challenge. Implant misplacement is common and may result in neural and vascular complications, as well as suboptimal biomechanical stabilization of the spine. Achieving the desired accuracy in minimally invasive surgeries involves a significant amount of X-ray radiation. Image-based robotic guidance is an emerging technology aiming to address these issues. Spine Assist System is based on the Spine Assist device, utilizing miniature robotic technology, a disposable T-frame bar called Hover T, and a workstation running advanced image processing software. The first stage of the process, preoperative planning, takes place here on the workstation. Alternatively, it is performed on the surgeon's PC and then uploaded to the workstation. A standard CT scan is displayed as a 3D model of each vertebrae in the range of interest. The surgeon places the screws on the model, choosing the ideal screw size with appropriate length and diameter for each pedicle and vertebral body. The software automatically calculates the rod contour in accordance with the positioning of the screws. As the operation starts, the surgeon prepares for the mounting of the T-frame to the patient's spine. It is attached to the patient's bony anatomy by two incisions at the posterior superior iliac spine and one K-wire to one of the spinous process. The T-frame now hovers over the patient's spine. Next comes real-time automatic image-based registration. A proprietary targeting device is mounted on the T-frame. Two fluoroscopic X-ray images with targeting devices are taken and transferred directly to the workstation. They are automatically matched to the reconstructed CT images as the software implements automatic registration with no user intervention. unaffected by variations in positions of vertebrae between the CT and the fluoros. The miniature robotic device is enclosed in a disposable sheath to ensure sterility. It is then attached onto the T-frame, making the bone and the miniature device a unified rigid object. The software controls the device's motion to the designated entry point and trajectory according to the surgeon's preoperative plan. The miniature robotic system and its T-frame platform support a wide range of minimal invasive and open surgery techniques. A guide tube is locked to the bony anatomy. Through it, the surgeon drills and inserts the implant. It enables the surgeon to work with various tools through a set of guiding tubes. As the device locks into position, the surgeon carries out the planned procedure. He drills and prepares the pedicle with the help of the miniature robotic device and repeats the procedure according to his plan. He then places the screws, either cantilated or solid. With this process, minimal invasive surgery is conducted. With a single placement of the T-frame, the surgeon can perform a variety of procedures on multiple vertebrae while moving along the length of the spine. While utilizing a percutaneous less invasive technique, using an extension bridge, the miniature robotic device is used to reach a variety of surgical approaches. Among the performed procedures were motion preservation, posterior spinal fusion, posterior lumbar interbody fusion, thoracic procedures, revision surgeries, severe deformity cases, and translaminar facet screws. Clinical use has also included pedicle screw placements in the lumbar spine during open surgeries where the miniature robotic device is attached directly to the exposed spinous process using a clamp and bridge. 
Once the clamp is attached, the remainder of the process is identical to the T-frame approach. The system is FDA approved and is already in clinical use. Validation studies have included animal and human cadaveric, as well as numerous clinical trials. Results verify the system's accuracy and its clinical efficiency and support its use in a wide range of lumbar and thoracic spinal procedures.